a couple of light chores today. Just cleaning up a couple of scrap piles and put them in the burn pile. And gotta remember my USB for this new radio I got. Beautiful Saturday morning here. I'm gonna load up the uh, SR3 trial by fire today. But ah, I love the little tractor at uh, Harrisburg is the one I go to. I mean, it needed its service and I had them tweak a couple things. They come pick it up and they come and deliver it. I mean, it's awesome. All right, I got the uh, power rake on here. Just sold this. More cash going towards the new E42. All right, uh, just got a load of scrap wood. Also, when I had this in for the 50 hour service, uh, the regen, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't like regening on its own. That I, that I could tell and they said that they, they ran out that got all these diagnostics they gave me a printout of everything when it did regen I had to manually regen it but they said that this thing needs to run at higher RPM uh, the regen stuff they're like running at 2300 you know 2000 2300 if you if you dink around and idle it a lot uh, that that clogs up the DPF filter, you know. So I got to get in the habit of running it. I mean, it's, it's kind of counterintuitive when you don't want to burn more gas and you're just putzing around. But it's better for these diesel engines to run at higher RPM. And this stuff up here, I got to grab, come back, grab it. All right, this baby is now ready to go. I got the hydraulic lines, I custom fit those. The front one is four feet and that one's six feet. Got it uh, strapped down with some heavy duty straps and uh, foam underneath it. Can't wait to try this thing out. not totally clean but I uh, hit it with the hose for quite a while I got most of the big chunks of mud off of it hopefully it won't be too much longer to get the new one in so when I made this pile I didn't think it's gonna be this big so I gotta see if this beast will push it back 10 or 15 feet unfortunately some of this has a little bit of nails in it Push. It's pretty 
Okay, and so for those of you that are newer to the channel, this is my, uh, it's a homemade disc chisel plow. Right here you could see it being used on really, really rough ground. I mean, this ground used to be woods last spring. I tore down all the woods and I got stumps and roots and that in here. So just to update you on the change I made to this. So if you look at this, the new uh, hydraulic cylinder here, now what I've added to the back of this is a, a harrow rake. So hopefully this will be an all-in-one tool and I do do a lot of food plotting. Uh, on our own farm we do probably 12 to 15 acres of food plotting and then I also help Curtis out with some of his clients down here in southern Illinois doing more food plotting and disking. So pretty excited about this uh, new addition that we've got here so definitely stay tuned for this stay tuned to see the new excavator coming soon and also we may have just bought a new 40 acre farm a flip property that we're going to try to improve and sell for a profit if we can get a negotiation on it which we're right in the process of doing that now so stay tuned hope to see you here in the near future thanks a lot we appreciate you joining us and the ground has gotten dry enough on the hillsides where uh, I'm going to start tilling this up. Hopefully any day now. <laughs> <laughs>